Um, I've come to a sort of a decision. We're gonna have to let you go. What? Um, Hannah, it's been brought to my attention that you have drugs on board and that you... My Valium? And pot, and that you haven't presented a, a prescription for that. Your Valium was laid out with your pot in your cabin. That's honestly just in my bag from LA. Can you just let me finish, okay. please? This is very serious. Management's involved. I have to do a disciplinary action. I want to follow the protocol, and we're going to go through this by the book. OK. OK? The violations are posted in the laundry room. You need a prescription. I can't go to sea with someone doing drugs. So what I would like for you to do is go get your Valium and your pot pen and bring it in here. OK, but just so you know, I've actually not taken one Valium since I got on board. Let's just do this by the book, OK? You need a prescription. Bring that. Could you do that now? OK. Because I can't ignore this. OK. The fact that the marijuana pen's on the boat? No, you shouldn't have it on board. Oh. It's illegal. And if she can't come up with a prescription for the Valium and his grounds for this one. Should I be in the cabin with her? I think she's flushing everything. I'm going to go make sure, like, it's not being destroyed. <laughs> Hannah. Don't, don't. Can you please bring your... Sure. Bring it can all. I go just, to the bathroom? Yeah, but give me your drugs. I was just coming. Okay, where's your letter? This, do you have, this is all you have? Yes. There's nothing else? Do you have a prescription? No. Okay, all right. Can I just, I just pay? Yeah, but I just need this because I want to get through this like in, very quickly because I don't want to, we have a charter that starts. I know, I understand. Okay. What do I do? At this point, Hannah, with everything that's been going on with you, hyperventilating at 4 a.m. on the floor with Malia. <laughs> right now, I can't go to sea with you. I don't, I have clients, okay. I have people. So I, are you gonna finish? Let me finish. I have the utmost compassion for you, but at this point, for the rest of the season, I'm gonna finish it just with the crew. It's not worth it to me. I am a captain. I worked very hard for my license, and I don't want to take that risk. Yeah, okay. There's, like, too much that's been going on. Okay. Okay. Could I have my Valium, please? Thank you. I'll pack now. Um, I think... Every charter, I'm continually putting energy and checking up on you. And we've had numerous chats about this, but sleeping in the guest cabin was sort of like, you know, the final straw for me. Um. And super disrespectful to the interior of the boat and, and, and this. So it's come to sort of a decision that we're going to have to let you go. What? Yeah. What? Um, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just, I'm sorry. Please. I'm really sorry. Let me just please stick it out these next I think, two. I think you've exhausted, like, all of your, all of your chances. I'm really sorry. Francesca. Chess will help you get your stuff together. Thank you, Captain Lee. Yep. I'm sorry. So am I. But sometimes it just doesn't work out. OK.
guys, I'm leaving. What? I'm leaving the boat. What the sh What? Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, you have to go pack your stuff. She just got fired? Yeah. I didn't know I was gonna leave this boat this soon. I'd be the first to, like, totally admit if I was wrong, if I sucked, if I did anything that deserved this. Jesus Christ. It feels like it's not even real. I can't believe you're doing this. Your behavior towards me has been absolute bull so that is I feel is the all... same way back towards you, though. You haven't been nice towards me. And you're really disrespecting me, and you're chatting about me to everybody, and it's coming back to me. I don't appreciate that. That's not good. Yep. Uh, okay, Tom, um, you know, I've had a little bit of time to think about this, and it's quite clear um, that it took us quite a long time to drag. I, I have no understanding of how you couldn't notice it if you're on Anchor Watch. To me, it's impossible. It's okay. It's you don't have to the whole point yeah. of Anchor Watch is precisely to make sure that doesn't happen. And I feel bad. I have no pleasure in this, but, you know, the more it's I okay. think about it... Don't worry about it. But... Yeah. I have to let you go. I got no choice. Just let me say it while I'm here in front of you. That is not myself. I've been going through some things, as you know, that, I know that. and that really did affect me I in, in what's gone on. It's really clear to me that Tom's mind is in another place. So it's not like we can just let him stay because he can't do any harm. He can still do harm in that mindset. We're not here to provide a job for Tom. We're here to run a safe boat. That's got to be first. Well, I'm sorry it couldn't have worked out better. Is what it is. Tom's having the conversation with Glenn right now, and I think he's leaving. Oh, my God. Get your stuff ready, because I think I'm going to have a ride for you in about an hour, hour and a half. Cool. Is what it is. All right, man. Thanks. No, you will. I feel like this is going to be one of the biggest lessons in my whole life. I just want to start this whole season again and just do a f***ing better job. You can't slack in this game. I've learned that, that the hard way. Hey. Hi. Oh, Lexi. From what I've seen? Mm hmm you're a terrific human being. Now, I don't go out and drink with you, <laughs> and I don't go out and have these experiences. Right. <clears throat> Threatening people, saying the things that you say. I told him I'd smack him, but I didn't really mean that. Considering how it's permeated through the entire boat, mm -hmm. and some people just can't get around it. Yeah. Worst human I've ever met. The many outweigh the one. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to make a hard decision. And it's not easy for me. <laughs> I have to let you go. It's, it'll be weird staying because it, they have their gel and I don't fit in the gel. When you get in people's faces and threaten them physically, especially in a workplace, that will never work for you. That's something that I would really take a hard look at. But the reality is I'm really sorry that I this know. came to this because I wanted to finish with my original crew. Andrew's porthole was left open while we were traveling. So we're going to sink and drown. I really embellished my resume. I don't think you'd get much in more inexperienced than I am. Did you hear about Andrew? He's a liar. He's a manipulator. He has no business being on this boat. This is hard for anybody, never mind having to be plagued with some anxiety crap. I'm not going to be miserable for six weeks. It's either me or him. I'm afraid I have some unpleasant news for you. I've come to a decision, and it wasn't an easy decision. I don't think it's going to work out for you. I'm going to cut you loose. I've made arrangements for a flight, and your pay will be ready. I wish you all the luck in the world. Thanks, Andrew. Thank you. Take care. Eddie, take care of this young man. You can't learn on the fly here. If you don't already bring it to the table, you're toast. And that's what happened to Andrew. He brought a knife to a gunfight. <laughs>